Okay, hey guys, how are you doing? Today, um, Hong Kong already um, have the Chinese New Year holiday, and then today we today is uh, February fourth, and we uh, resume to work today, right? And um, right, we all know that yesterday um, the market drops a lot, right? I I I I knew that um, last step. And Dow Jones been rested for uh, four days already, right during our holidays. And yesterday is because of Facebook, because Facebook crash. So we hold a lot of stock in our um, portfolio in Hong Kong and in America, and then uh, we have both stock in our portfolio in Hong Kong stock and also in the American stock. And many of the stock we are holding are in the U.S. and their their performance is good, right? The only one now um, make me feel a little bit disappointed on the performance is Facebook. Even Match, right? Probably you will see that Match um, share price dropped it thirty percent, but the performance is good. Well, I will. I have a lot of uh, stock companies' uh, performance to analyze in the Hong Kong program. So we analyzed it Adobe already, and then is Microsoft, and then is Apple. All the reports okay, and Adobe is a little bit right, not very, not as good as before, but still okay, right? Microsoft is very good, and then Apple is very good, then. Um, another one, Google is very good, right? So um, we have a lot of stock that we need to analyze in the Hong Kong program, like the Match, and then Tesla. Although we don't have Tesla, and then Madonna, and then um, Amazon, and we have Google, and then um, even we um, so PayPal already. Then we will analyze in the Hong Kong program, and then today we will analyze Starbucks. And then Facebook, and then uh, Snapchat. So for but for all those stock we hold, only one that make me feel a little bit disappointed is Facebook. And the and the last quarter, Facebook's performance is not bad. Not very excellent, but not bad. Then we know about that, right? We know like 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 match. We know about that, right? The last quarter's performance on match. It's all right, and the last quarter, the quarter before of Facebook, then we we admire that because at the time, then um, America still in the pandemic, but now is no pandemic. So there, there's still pandemic in America, but then she reopens for two quarters already, all right? So um, a little bit disappointed. Then we will we will talk about it when we go into the next page, right? So uh, today we will uh, briefly, uh, very easy for us to analyze for Starbucks. The perform the performance is good, right? You can you can go into there. A lot of people that they just very lazy. Many people they invest is very lazy. They just go to oh I go to CNN. Okay, I go to Jim Cramer. <laughs> Right, and then we go to uh, CNBC, and then they just look at the headlines, and then they are scared. They're very scared, right? They're scared, right? And then they're scared, and then they sell out everything. They think that the um, tech company, the five tech company, will crash for the whole sector, and then they sell everything. And then later on, after the closing bell, then they find out that oh, my goodness, Amazon's Performance is very good. Oh, Snapchat's performance is very good, but they sell out the stock already. Well, so don't be lazy. Go into the SEC website, and then check the performance by yourself. Check in the way that I check. Right, I always show how I check it. Check in the way I check. You can find out what is the problem now with Facebook and this problem. It's not with Amazon, and this problem is not with Snap Snapchat or not with Twitter. So you don't need to be scared like that, right? I know that a lot of investor 
right, in this in America or even in Hong Kong, right, because Hong Kong has some political problems, right, so so a lot of people change it to um, U.S. stock, and they sell everything because Facebook punch. This is unreasonable. This is not reasonable. So the reason why I not selling our Facebook, I will explain um, briefly, and then I will analyze Facebook in detail in my Hong Kong program. But today, uh, one of the readers asked me about Starbucks, and then she asked, it, the, the performance seems very good. Why the stock price does not follow? So I will explain to you. Very simple. So uh, Facebook's punch make our Falcon portfolio lose 3.5%. For now, for now, I will explain. So uh, after two years, our portfolio been from uh, uh, 55,000 to 61.3,000. And then we have the increment of 75%. Uh, so if any um, stock you want me to analyze, then you can email to me by USStockMarketWeekly at gmail.com or you can leave your message under the YouTube. So this is our portfolio. And then, right, you can see that the NASDAQ performance is 79%. We should be in line with her, but because of Facebook, she dropped as well. Because last night, um, NASDAQ dropped at 3.4%. A big drop, right? But not tonight. Because tonight, Amazon will come up. Right? Amazon has a large ratio in the NASDAQ. And then our portfolio is 75%. Um, you can see that, um, oh, okay, let us move on to that page. Then, then we discuss about a little bit about Facebook, right? So this is our cover. Starbucks, actually the performance is good, but the stock price does not follow. Why? Because it followed already. <laughs> is it a good answer to you? Then we will, we will explain it um, later on. So this is Dow Jones, right? You can see the Dow Jones yesterday dropped it more than 500 points yesterday, right? And Nasdaq also dropped it 500 points, but Nasdaq dropped 500 points. That means the index dropped it 3.6% yesterday. It's quite a lot because Facebook is uh, with a big ratio in the Nasdaq. The problem is that it scares everyone, right? So we'll come to that. So let us see some uh, headlines first, right? And then um, after the closing bell of yesterday, right? Um, Amazon's earning get a big good performance, right? Of Amazon and then yes, Snapchat and then yes, Pinterest. Actually, it should be P interest, right? Some call Pinterest, some call P interest, right? So it doesn't matter. So um, a lot of people is very scared. Oh, sorry, yesterday sank by 3.7%, not 3.6, 3.7%, right? And then a lot of people is very scared. A lot of commentators is saying that, okay, the um, fight head or social media, sorry about that, the social media drops. No longer is the um, profit driving. So everyone coming out, whatever it is, like the Twitter, like the Snapchat, like the Amazon, like Facebook, and then some even sell out Alphabet, although the, the performance is very good. And then later on, after the closing bell, then they found out that Amazon has a very good performance. And then Snapchat also has a very good performance. So what are you going to do? So go to the set website and then check the performance first. Right. Don't just look at the news or don't just look at the headlines. A lot of people, they invest just by looking at the headlines. So it's easy life, right? But it's easy for you to lose money. I'm not setting out because I um, quickly, I go into the website and then check the performance of Facebook. I check both, one year and one quarter. So another news that 
Um, um, I always doubtful about Tesla because I do not have this stock, right? I do not have this stock. But Tesla always recalls back the vehicles, right? And then this time she recorded 817,000 vehicles over the seatbelt on earth. So how can she make the money? She's always recalling back the vehicle because of the safety issue. So if she always do like that, so how can she make money, right? <laughs> I'm doubtful to it, right? Although from the very beginning, I do not want to buy Tesla, even today, right? Even today, so it is um quite interesting to me, right? She always recalls the vehicles, and she can still make some money. <laughs> um, this is Facebook. That means Meta, right? So um. In U.S. stock market, uh, a lot of uh, company will have uh, expectation or we call consensus, right? And sometimes the company herself will have a projection or a focus about that. So you can see that um, she failed it on some um, expectation. So uh, the revenues uh, failed it a little bit, right? The earnings per share then uh, fell a little bit. And then the revenue seems okay, and then the MAU is not okay. Actually, it's not okay, right? And then the Meta app, family monthly active users, not okay, right? So um, not always stick with those uh, expectations, right? Um, stick with mine. I just take this as a reference. But this time, Facebook disappointed me. She found me. Right. She found me is not because of what you can see on the screen. She found me is because um, her revenue increased it a little bit slower. But the um, expenditure increased it a lot. So it means something. It means something. It means something to me. So I will explain the uh, performance of Facebook uh, in my Hong Kong channels. But um, now... Why I'm not selling out Facebook is because I read the I read the uh, the one year's performance of Facebook. So now, do you know what is the uh, price to earning ratio now with Meta? Seventeen, one seven, one seven, one seven is too low for Facebook or Meta, unless she performs that bad in the coming one or two quarters. Unless we don't know, because in two thousand eighteen, um, at the time it's still Facebook, still called Facebook, and then she missed it one time on the performance. You can check it out. You can check it out on the history, right? And then after one quarter, it rise up again, and then to a new high, to a new high, something like that. So, um, but some of the worries of Mark Zuckerberg, uh, mean something to me. Mean something to me. And what I'm worrying is the um, is the um, active users. That means the family of the teenagers, their habits, their thinking about this kind of social media or Facebook. Are they changing? Maybe they're changing. We don't know because actually Facebook's been since two thousand six, right? Is 16 years already, one six already. And then now for what Facebook can do, a lot of social media can do, right? Like Snapchat can do, Twitter can uh, really do it, right? Really do it, right? So, um, but um, Meta can replace YouTube, different things. Our people prefer to watch instead of writing something like that maybe maybe i don't know right but if this is really changing then it's a big threat to matter so mark Zuckerberg is going to um invest heavily on the metaverse that means the accessory for the vr then will he success we don't know right we don't know so if for one thing, for big investment, we don't know. 
I always give a give a question mark to it. Question mark to it because um, more than ninety percent of the uh, how we say um, new things that is going to fail. All right, that means you burn the money. That means you burn the money and you get nothing. So this is what I'm worried. I will explain it in more details in my Hong Kong channels, right? So another one is PayPal. So why I sell our PayPal? PayPal also disappoint me. Although Wimbo is doing good, right? I will also explain in my Hong Kong channel. But uh, PayPal disappoint me. Why I sell out PayPal but not Facebook? It's because PayPal, even after the job, she has the PE of 60. And then Facebook is only 17. So if now you sell out Facebook, right? If you dump this stock, only under one circumstances, then you are right. Yes, Facebook will have this bad performance for the coming one or two or three quarters. If now, then you sell at the too low prices. But PayPal, where we office, PE60 is too high. Quite obvious. So I dump it down before that. That's the reason. I'm not saying that PayPal is dead. Some people said PayPal is dead. Um, PayPal's performance is bad. Uh, partly is because of uh, eBay. Right? She's leaving eBay. And then partly is because of the e-payment now is very common. Right? And then partly because that some of the business go back to Visa and MasterCard. Right? But the main reason I sell our PayPal is because the price to earning ratio is too high. That's the reason. So I will explain in detail, but don't buy PayPal at this moment. Don't buy PayPal or don't buy Facebook at this moment. Because we're not sure. Because we're not sure. I know the price is very, the share price now is, seems very attractive to all of you, right? But remember, Peter Lynch then once said that, if a share price drops from 20 to 10, attractive. How about is if it further drops? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. What are you going to do? Right. So always have a good support of performance. And then take out all the premium. Take out all the premium. When it is at the lower hand, right? When the stock now is at the lower hand, take out all the premium. That's the only way you should buy the stock. Otherwise, don't buy it. If you buy, if you buy PayPal at 160, 60, then you think it's very attractive. Now it's 130, then what are you going to do? Right? That's the reason. And then we have this stock. We hold Google for uh, more than two years. Then it bring us a good reward on 160% of the reward. And then uh, it's going to split its stock from 1 to 20, finally. It doesn't help on the profit. It just helps uh, more people to buy it. But this is not what I want. And Google's performance is very good, probably it's because, of, um, because of YouTube. Right? Probably because of YouTube and because of the advertisement. That means our people is changing from uh, the kind of like Facebook, that means typing, and then to Google, that means like you're just talking, you can um, you can show your videos on YouTube, something like that, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. The trend is not clear now. We need to see. And then another another amazing one is Amazon. Right? I do not like Amazon. I do not like Amazon. I, I don't like this kind of um, how to say, I don't like this kind of um, business model. Right? But the point is, one more than one year before, I always said um, Amazon spent a lot of money in the uh, robot, small robot car for transportation, for delivery. And then after that, after the heavy investment, and then she gets her reward this year. right? And then she also has a big server, right? The biggest one, 
the biggest one in the world, and then the next one is Microsoft. We all know that, right? So uh, we'll see for the Amazon's performance. Then I will also a lot of work for me to do to comment on the Hong Kong channel, right? So also follow us on the Hong Kong channel, huh? So let us talk about Starbucks. I do not have this stock, but my wife does. <laughs> she has this stock, right? She hold a little bit, right? Lot, 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 a lot. Just a few thousand US dollar. So you can see Starbucks for the past five years. She does not perform bad, right? You can see that even within the pandemic, for the past five years, then the uh, stock price increased 70% with each year. The dividend is 2%. It's quite all right already, right? You can see that after the 2020, the breakout, the outbreak, and then the share price shows. Wow, from how much is that? About 60, then 50% already. And uh, uh, one, one reader then um, emailed me, and then she asked, the performance is good. Said, so why the share price not... Uh, show up is because it did already Well, it did already now is adjusted, right? You can see that the tail at the right hand side is fat a little bit Well, of course yesterday it dropped it yesterday it dropped it because of the Nasdaq drop But you can see that the, the tail is fat because it reached the equilibrium already for now So let us take a look on the Starbucks performance on the uh, 2022 first quarter and then we compare it to the 2020 the first quarter then because at 2020 the first quarter there is no pandemic the pandemic happens in the second quarter right the revenue increased at 18.5 percent 8 billion us dollar which is good right and the net earning that means the net profit is 0 0.815 billion increased at 31.1 percent compared to no pandemic, which is also good. And then the not net profit rate, always compare the net profit rate, right? Always, don't be lazy. Always compare the net profit rate. Use the adjusted net profit. And then you will see that if the company is running in an efficient way, right? You can see the net profit rate is 10, a little bit better than two years, no pandemic before. Because 0.8%, forget about it, right? That means you can see that now some increment improvement on Starbucks already, right? Some improvement. Although we know that in China, still there are lockdowns, right? But some improvement on Starbucks already. You can see that, right? You can see the net profit rate increased and the net earning increased as well. So I have two uh, quick calculation for you you can see the total asset decreased when compared to two years before why because it used a lot of cash it used a lot of cash to hand in for the pandemic you can see the cash and short-term investment decreased nearly by 39.3 percent than two years before right so you can see she burned a lot of cash in between because of the pandemic right she has to hang in there right and the long-term debt doesn't change a lot that means she does not use the money to return to to pay back for the debt she just uses the money for what uses the money to hand in for the pandemic in the past one and a half year and the yearly payback that means to return for the capital for the money she borrow is two billion and then now she has 4 billion cash on hand and uh, for yearly net profit is 3.26 billion so her finance is good right okay at least it's okay right so very easy i will cap it once again so you can see now the net earning what is the percentage for the one right and then you can see the p now is if one day before the PE is 27 something because yesterday uh, the Nasdaq crashed so is it a uh, fair value 
for Starbucks now? Yes, because she has a dividend, 2% to you. Right? You have to count it in. So if you count it that, so now the price of no matter is 90, 95, 97, or even 99, I think is a fair price for Starbucks. Right? No premium. No premium because now is um, not a happy time for all of us. Right? So no premium. Especially for Starbucks. Starbucks is a very old company. Right? So no premium. Not technology stock. So no premium and a fair price now is I think 95 to 100 is a fair price. But if the price is back to 126, that means the PE ratio is how many? It's more than 45, something like that. More than 40, something like that. So it is not it's with some premium, right? But not now. Not now. So um I don't know for half year after, right? Half year after, maybe no pandemic, and then some people may give her some pa- some premium. One hundred twenty six, but now it's a fair price, right? It's a fair price, and I see a healthy performance. So I think it can um answer your question. Then because it did already. It did when 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 the when the pri- when the um U.S. United States we open. And then everything show up, right? And they always show up more than it should be. And then now adjusted and then become fat. And then if you want her to be better in performance, like more than 100, 126 for share price, then actually you need a better performance in this quarter, right? But now is a fair price and the performance is not bad, right? If you still holding Starbucks, then I think you should hold it. Right, and unless for the until for the sec, uh, next quarter's performance, right? Yeah, I hope I can answer your question. Okay, we share the video up till here, and then if you like this video, please give us a comment and then share to your friends, and then please help to press the subscribe button and then press the bell icon next to it. So whenever there is a new video uploaded, then you will be informed. Okay, thanks for watching. And then we will see you guys on next Friday. And tonight, we should watch Coasty on Amazon and Snapchat. I think tonight, the uh, Nasdaq will have um, better rebounds than yesterday, right? Okay, hand into that. See you guys next week. Have a peaceful weekend. Bye-bye.